Do 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 Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to modded Terraria. We're going down here real quick. I want to make the uh Venus, I think. Venus yo-yo. Or no, no, it's Mercury. <laughs> Mercury yo-yo. It's 31. I want to see if it's better than the creeper. It has higher base damage. Okay, we just got a normal one. Let's go check this out real quick. Because I want to use a yo-yo. Uh, hang on, let me just check the DPS from the meter. It sets things on fire. That's cool. Doesn't hit very quickly. Like the creeper... Uh, the DPS isn't that crazy, like 120-ish. I'm still going to use the creeper for now. The mercury I could eventually turn into the Venus. But we need bones. I don't have bones yet. Soon enough. Soon enough. Maybe sooner than expected. Uh, there's a bunch of other things I want to make, or a couple other things. But I want to fight two more Lepuses real quick and see if we get the full set of the uh, Astera armor. Let me just reforge this. Wild, prescribed, evasive, speedy, hyper... Okay, I guess we'll keep this one. Wow, I didn't realize how much that was costing. Boom, and then let's reforge the egg cannon. Dude, careful. Um, I mean, 35% extra damage. It's pretty cool. That's fine. That works for me. I don't know. And eh, we'll try one more. Uh, okay, we got it again. So, yeah, we're going to stick with it. And let's just... Oops. There's no door there. Let's fall down into the snow biome. I'm going to use... Well, we'll wait until after. Well, I'll use it now. A battle potion, because we're looking for somebody down here as well. We are looking for somebody. Okay, let's go. This is my arena. Boom. Now, let's see. Where's my... Where's my force? It's lost. <laughs> I've been, like, teleporting around too much. It's like, where'd you go? <laughs> Come on. Where is it? Uh, let's try the egg cannon. Yeah. Yeah, ow. It does more damage, but it's slow. I've, I've never used this thing for real. Like, really. I got it in Brutal Terraria 2, Season 2. And just tested it out briefly, but never used it. So, I have no idea the keep. Ow. Can you get off me, please? It's not where you're supposed to be. On my head, I like that. Um, we got this thing as well. I'm gonna die. Can you please not let that happen? Where is my force? It got lost. <laughs> Seriously. I'm wondering what happened to it. Get out of here. Uh, three, two, one, boom. We got the pants, nice. All right, and then one more. Do it. It would be nice if I had the force. <laughs> The Force Awakens. Where is it? I hope it does awaken at some point. I really wish there was a uh, a weapon that worked against enemies that was like the Tome of Manipulation. That would be too OP. You could just pick up the Wall of Flesh and throw the Wall of Flesh away. <laughs> that would be great though. For like just having fun. Maybe it does no damage, but you can just like move things around. That would be interesting to play around with. Pick up Supreme Calamitous and just throw her into, I don't know, a vat of killer acid. I've been playing too much Noita. That game is amazing. So good. Anyway, all right. It reminds me, I've been playing it like it's like hardcore Terraria. Uh, where is my... Wait a minute. Did we not get a... Oh, it's right here. Give me that. Three, two, one. Boop. We got it! We got the full set! Nice! That was lucky. I was really not expecting that to happen. Um, it has less defense, but let's just check out what the uh, set bonus. Set bonus. Oh, hey, what is that? An earthen slime. Hello. And a chocolate egg. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. As you can see, guys, Everlippa is back. It's the newest mod. Well, I added two new mods. But yes, Erlipa is back. Uh, negates fall damage, allows the wearer to perform a bunny hop. Okay, so I could jump a lot higher. Eh, 
I mean, I don't need that. If I didn't have wings, it'd be cool. Er. Well, let's just stick with this. Okay. I'm gonna wait until we find somebody out in the snow biome. I found you! The frozen Pandolar! Everyone else, get out of here. Here. Cancel that. Frozen Pandolar! Wait, can I... Hopefully this doesn't hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. Please don't hurt you. <laughs> Unco Wait, okay. At first I thought I did something really bad. How many years have passed? None? 1,000? 400,000? Oh, excuse me. My name is Mural. Thank you for saving me. Is there any way I can help you? Yes! We gotcha. We gotcha. You sell Ilian bars. Ilian panel. Pandolar paws. Pandolar mask. We have to. I'm sorry. It must happen. Really? I have to actually wear this someplace? There we go. Fine. We'll be a furry today. That's what's, that's what's happening, guys. I don't care. You can complain about it in the comments if you want, but go ahead. And for all of those who actually are furries, good. Good. I am not, but I'm, you know, a human being with feelings. So if somebody has something that they're into, you are perfect. Just be into whatever it is you're into. Anyway, so awesome. What about, wait a minute. Yes, go and kill things for me. Salvage item. Here, take this. I found this on my journey here and have no use for it. Maybe it will come in handy. Yes. Also, we have this, the mysterious gem, which we don't need. Yeah, yet. Wow, there's so many things here. I also installed a brand new mod from Hamstar. Is this it? No. Uh, magic mirrors, yes. Mirror. Topaz mirror. Uh oh, can I not make them? Maybe I can't even make it. Oh my god. So you need teleporters anyway. Oh well. Well, here, there I thought that it was like a pre hard mode thing that I'd be able to do this without teleporters. I didn't check. So you guys get to witness my sadness firsthand. <laughs> but it's cool. That would be really OP. And then, yeah, I wanted to check out things from the uh, Taumaturgy mod, which we have not done yet. Falling Flame with this stuff, or two of them. I bought a bunch of these. See, the Taumaturgy NPC sells this stuff and sells these bars. And then from this, you craft these other things. The one thing that he doesn't have is uh, this water I was looking at here. Let's just craft 10 of these and see what we can make. Velocity in a jar. Greatly boosts max move speed. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Um, but then these are like, um, woo! Okay, let me try that again. I think I hit this block or something. That was crazy. Get off the stupid curtains. Come on, I know you're a panda bear thing, but you like to play in the bamboo forest, but there's no bamboo here. Come on, let's stand on top of the block. And... Okay, so it's kind of like, whatever. We'll play around with them more at some point. I'll take a couple more with me. <laughs> three. Three more. Then there's this. I need wire. 200 wire. Yeah, that just fully affirms in my mind we need to fight Skeletron. And we're going to fight Skeletron in this episode. I don't care. I might just cut straight to it right after this. I was going to work on the base, but we'll work on that after getting the mechanic, I guess. So there's all these items from the Taumaturgy mod that are like very interesting. I peeked in here a little bit. Cruder than wings may malfunction. That's pretty cool, but I, you know, I need wire anyway. Need wire for everything, which is why we're going to, what does this do? Increases mining speed by 40%. We're all adrift together together. I don't know what that reference is to or for. There, we don't need this now. We can put this away. All right, so guarding bind shackle for 40% faster mining. And then champion's crest combines all of the expert drops together, which is really cool. I like that a lot because I, you never end up using like royal gel and like I never use a lot of this stuff. Of course, we use the worm scarf a lot and this a lot early on if you need it, if you don't have this or whatever. There's the eternal ordeal, which... I guess we'll make that. I'm going to pop it in here, though. 
Uh, I just need an Ebonwood sword and a flintlock pistol. Uh, oops. Ebonwood sword. Boom. And then flintlock pistol. Prevents invasions from ending while worn. That's really cool. Make that. We got a hardy one too for max life. Nice. Phoenix downs that restore your life. That's awesome. And they're consumable, so I could craft a bunch of Phoenix Downs. And you have multiple lives. That, I like that. I mean, it's, you know, pretty powerful for the cost, you know? But still really, really cool. Uh, Avarice potions. Some ores may give more yield. That's nice, too. I wonder if that works with Vein Miner. So we gotta worry about that. Glacial Highway. Ice forms beneath you as you walk. That's pretty cool. Might as well make all ten of them. Alright. So we have those now I'm gonna play around with. Anything else? Oh yeah, there was one other thing I wanted to check out. Uh, because I dug a pretty ugly looking little elevator. I wanna see if this other one works well for me. Uh... The Terran Boar. And then there's like Tomic Pie, which is like a permanent, well fed. Velocity in a jar seems cool too. Anyway, one thing at a time. And then Temporal Flicker Fin res uh, resets the quest. You know, you gotta complete the quest and then you can do another one right away. That's pretty cool. Boom, 30 of these. Silk Rope and Silk Rope Coils. So wait. Uh, coils. We need a hundred of these. Perfect. Thirty of these. Five of these. Yes. The Terran Boar. And now, I'm going to save my game real fast. Alright guys, I'm just making some... Dirt platforms, because we're gonna build an arena. <laughs> Cause like I said... Oh, and I... We're fighting Skeletron. I don't care. We're doing it. We're taking that step. I need lots of wiring stuff. There's crazy amounts of things that I want to play around with. It's nighttime. We're going to have to wait another night because by the time we get there across my world, it's going to be daytime. Um, so yeah, vanity, building stuff. Mounts and pets are all in here now. Ammo right here. Speaking of ammo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then armor right there. Random buildy stuff again that I want to play around with. And then the her barrels in there. Same thing. Accessories that I like. And weapons. Accessories and other stuff. And then we're going to go over here. We have this Terran Boar. I just don't want to... I don't know what this is going to do because I already have a elevator here. I'm hoping that it still designs something nice. Oops. I'm trying to get in the middle. And then boom. Okay. I mean... It works. Got all the snow everywhere and gem spark spaced out. And it was the perfect, perfect uh, width, you know, to fit exactly where I want it. That's cool. It's made with silk rope. Oh, uh, what did I, it, and I, you know, I built my elevator here in a good spot. Whatever, just cuts through that a little bit. It's fine. Yeah, so we got a nice looking elevator here now. What was that? A bone spider. Okay. With, that actually is lit up with diamond gem spark and is walled in. It's nice. I liked that it was made out of iridescent brick. So now, whenever I build tunnels in this world, which I might here and there, they'll be composed out of iridescent brick. Oh, hey, what's going on? All right, so I have to, uh, we found the first NPC that I've needed. All right, hey. Let me get you out of there. Thanks, hun. Now I can finally do my hair. All right, you go ahead and do that. I'm going to sell you stuff that I don't want. Oh, I should have kept the penguin head. Too late. Okay. I made a bunch of potions. I got to remember to use those glacial highway ones, uh, which is interesting. And then I forgot to grab this, this, and we can't do that yet. Um, all right. Now let me use one of these and see what happens. Hopefully, oh wow. Wait a minute. Oh, are you, wait a minute, that's, <gasps> what? 
I didn't know it was like this. That's amazing. That is a game changer right now because we're going to have to go across the... Uh, I'm going to fix that. Maybe I will. <laughs> we're going to have to go across the Erolipa biome. And this is going to make it very easy to do that. That's awesome. That is truly awesome. Whoa. Okay, so we're in the Erolipa biome now. It's like pitch black here. And we're going to have to wait while well, I'll build the arena. Yeah, this, the music is amazing. But we don't want to be here because we're going to <laughs> hold down to prevent ice from forming. Falling on ice will not damage you. This is an amazing, amazing potion. But yeah, when we're here, we catch a corruption disease. And also, uh, torches don't work here. They get popped off constantly. So let's get out of there for now. It's right in front of the... Uh, I just can't get over. It's right in front of the Inferno biome. I can't get over how useful this potion is. Like, this is crazy. I don't need an arena. Like, I don't need to build with platforms. You just use this, and you could you have your own arena. Actually, well, you can hold down to fall through. That's awesome. I'm going to try fighting Skeletron with this, I think. It's so good. Hey, let's talk to the club. Whoa, okay. Thank you for breaking everything. It's helpful, but okay. You don't have to keep doing it. Calming potion? Give me that. Oh, we got a golden squirrel. Okay, I teleported back. Wait a minute. Give me this. Come here. Wait. This potion, I'm still like... I'm totally in love with it. It's crazy. Uh, like, look at that. That's amazing. Anyway, so it's still morning. I just teleported back to actually... Ugh. Probably dump all this in a chest. <laughs> another one, another barrel someplace. Oh my god. Temporary. And then... <laughs> yes, I'm going to. I have to. Ugh. I'm gonna... Yeah, let me just put a chest... Over in the desert. Uh, with all the stuff in it. And then I'm going to... Grab a couple weapons that are more powerful because I know the crystalline isn't very strong right now. I want to see. We'll use this. Get out of here. Um, boop. And then I want to use the prismatic greatsword instead of the yo-yo probably since we have that. All right, guys. I actually left the world. I stepped away. Had a quick slice of pizza. Because I was a little hungry. I haven't eaten anything today. And now let's travel on back. Like, I can't believe how amazing this potion is. This is one of the most useful things that I've used in, like, modded Terraria. Like, look at this. It's crazy. Like, I've forgotten a lot of, like, the older things that I had access to in... Uh, you know, previously, like in 2016 modded Terraria, there were a lot of really cool things too. But, I mean, and of course, like using all these mods, like, there's always new things to discover. That's why, oh, here we are. I wanted, I didn't really take a look at this earlier, but we can't stay here long. You're not going to be able to really see anything anyway, because it's super dark. But it's like the background, it's like you see these like, whatever obelisks in the back and then it's kind of like the terrain is shaped like that too you got these it's kind of like a corruption type of thing except taller spires like rock spires and yeah it gets really dark there's apparently you know there's caves and like a city down there all right it's nighttime let me just go all the way up here okay we're just about there i'm just gonna run over there well first we're gonna buff I'm going to cancel this and then use another one and then use this and then, okay, summon another one of you. Then, here we go, guys. What weapon am I using? This. Buff. And then, defeat my master and I will grant you passage into the dungeon. Let's go. All right. I got to actually hit the hands, please. 
It's just so weird fighting in the middle of the sky, you know? Okay, let's get out of his head. Here, take this. <laughs> I love it. Alright. It's just, it's, I'm running into him because I'm like, here, let me zoom out all the way. Two. Yeah, it's perfect. I'm running into him because I'm like, I don't have an arena to like, you know, pay attention to platforms and stuff. So it's like, we don't need an arena. We have, the sky is our arena. And that's like, I could do that. Like, I want to build a bunch of arenas, obviously, but if it's just something like this, like I was just going to do a, uh, all right. I was just going to do a little, you know, dirt platform arena. Ow. Where are my eggs? There they are. Alright. And then we got this. Woo! Fast! Skilltron, fast! Let's use these. Ow! Use that. Dash this way. And then it's time for this. Here we go. Perfect! Boom. Launch you out. You launched the wrong way. There you are. Ow. We gotcha. Whoa! Roars echo from the underworld. Okay, auto pause on. Roars echo from the underworld. The pockets of granite and marble in your world tremble. The great soul of Skeletron has been liberated. Rumethis has blessed your world with Ru Ruth. Ruthenium, Ruthenium, bones of the ancient ancient past burst with energy. The desert winds stir. The winter hill, <laughs> the winter hills rumble. The stars are brightening. The icy caverns are shimmering. The caverns are heated with dragon bone. So much heat and cold happening everywhere. We probably have the entire underworld or the entire caves are like probably multicolored now. <laughs> And I forgot to even put these out. Whatever. It's fine. Nice. Okay. Give me all that stuff. Excellent. And, oh, uh, wait a minute. It dropped. Wait, I want to pick that up. It dropped. Oh, the Deathly Mirror. Oops. The Deathly Mirror. That looked like the other thing from the uh, Illusionist mod. The really powerful thing. See, the one problem we have now is we're going to have... Uh, these f raining from the sky. They don't break anything except my face if they hit me. But, uh, it's just, you know, something we're gonna have to deal with now until we, uh, you know, a, a small price to pay for all of the things that I want to build with now that we now have, well, soon have access to. Come back here, buddy. Let me call you in. We soon have access to the mechanic and, uh, yeah. Fireballs raining from the sky. It's just a small price to pay to be able to say hello to my favorite favorite Terraria NPC, the mechanic. Or vanilla NPC, anyway. So let's look at some loot, I guess. We have bones now. I could upgrade the nail. Yes, guys. I could upgrade the nail. All right. The Hollow Knight nail. We got the bone saw. I remember this. Bone saw. <laughs> I think that'll be our new yo-yo. Probably. Big bone. The quest item from Juiced. Skeleton fist. Oh, wow. Okay. Got that. Skeletron. The curse is said to only affect the elderly. After they are, are afflicted, they become an immortal vessel for an ancient demon of the underworld. Place in your inventory to gain increased defense and damage while in the dungeon. Nice. That's really useful. I like that. And then we got, of course, Tolanite, uh, which uh, we're still on Tomaturgy. Oops. Tolanite bars, which then could be made to Moon Token or Dazzler. Ooh. Well, not yet. Okay. That's cool. And then, let's see, the Deathly Mirror. If we die, we can use this to get back to our death point, which is very nice and useful now. More magnum rounds. Uh, a shadow diamond. Yes. 
and a goodie bag, which I'll open. A chocolate bar. It is October, by the way. So I'm allowed to open all the goodie bags and go trick-or-treating. Give me that. Eat that chocolate bar. Anyway, whatever. I get excited about weird different things like that. And of course, we didn't even open this yet. But we have the uh, Skeltron in action figure, too. Nice. All right, so three, two, one, a million more items. Boom. Or more or less. Drugged arrows creates an aura around an enemy that damages nearby enemies. Okay. The uh, skeleton staff, 16 summon damage. Whatever. It's shoddy, though. The, an unreal bone glove. Interesting. I've never really used the bone glove. I mean, whatever. Maybe we'll try it out a little bit. I don't know. I've, I've used it briefly, but just like testing it out. Anyway, we have to get out of here. Skeletron has been defeated. That's amazing. Let's go. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I have to... I guess we gotta go. It's probably... This is probably a long episode. What is this? Grenade shells. What? 205 damage? Dude, I didn't even notice that. So we got grenade shells too. Uh, it, it's just one. I don't know if it, it gets used up. Or if that's like infinite or what. I have no idea. But I don't even know how to use it. What weapon do you use that with? Same thing with the uh, the Magnum. I know you you only get these from bosses, but what can shoot them? You have to make a magnum, I guess. I don't even know. Let me know if you know. Everyone knows stuff about Calamity. I don't really know that much because I played mostly old Calamity, you know? So any of the newer stuff, like, I'm unsure about. Anyway, guys, so yeah, Infernus's Wrath. Meteors rain from the sky. When approaching hell, the player may catch fire. Defeat Infernus to stop this effect. Oh, that's incredible. Gotta love that. <laughs> Catching on fire randomly while falling down my nice new elevator that's over here. And, of course, we have the fireballs raining from the sky. Who cares about that? Ow! Never mind, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna put auto pause on while I do this. There we go. Eh, stop it. It got, I think it got blocked by this or something. Nice. That's really cool. Anyway, guys, before we go, we looked at Taumaturgy. I gotta look at him more. Thank you, K-Byte. And then also, thank you to Seth Tamwood. Hang on, I gotta peek over. Yes, Seth Tamwood. King and Queen statue after Skeletron and uh, I know what, what you're saying and then also giving me an idea for the uh, base build which I'm gonna work in a little bit is gonna be like ruins parts there's gonna be parts that are currently being restored and then there's gonna be the upper part mostly you know just fine just fine and dandy what Seth is talking about is making this, the regal statue. We're town NPCs, what was that? What are you? Oh my God. Oh, I think that's something new that's happening now. What the heck? It's like a piece of snow that's, okay. Anyway, the regal statue, town NPCs respawn extremely quickly when you're standing near it. I made that before in the first uh, season, but, ow, oh, stop it. Wait, what is going on here? Oh wait, those are, that's my Skeletron head because of this now. Wow, look at all that. Spawn a friendly dungeon guardian when you take contact damage. Now, good. Anyway, this is probably a longer episode. I gotta edit it down a little bit. But thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you soon. And we're finally gonna be able to, uh, yes. Get that mechanic. That's what we're doing immediately next episode. Going down there, getting the mechanic. I'm not gonna really do much else down there. I just want the mechanic mostly. And maybe a bone welder as well. Bone welder and mechanic. That's it. And then perhaps also a... Uh, <laughs> we'll see. We'll open like one chest. If we, if we could get a Muramasa, that would be nice as well. But before we go for real, we got to rescue you. Oh my god, what are you shooting? It's Sebastian. Keep having vague memories of tying up a woman and throwing her in the dungeon. Why would you do such a thing? Wanderer headband. Look at all this. High heels. <laughs> Women's boots. Men's boots. Oh my god. Swimsuit top. Are you kidding me? 
Really? <laughs> nice. Leather belt. A dress? Wow. Okay, QWERTY is definitely gets in depth. Really cool. Silver headband. All right. And the couch. Yes, the couch. We'll buy that at another point. Excellent. All right, now I got to go. See you guys. Peace. Woo!